Okay, first off, let's review what this title means. What is GCF? It is greatest. That means largest. Common means all have them. And factor means we're breaking it down into its prime factors. I do assume that this is a review because I feel like you guys have learned this in past grades. Raise your hand if you have learned this before. Greatest common factor. So the first piece of what we're going to do today is going to feel like re review and then we'll move into how we use this even further in algebra. So we're going to start with the numbers 24 and 60. To find these, we're going to factor both of them. So I'm going to start with 24. I like the kick method. This time, though, instead of doing 2 to the third power times 3, we're going to list out the factors of 24. And then underneath it, we're going to list out the factors of 60. I have two twos and a three for 24. For 60, I'm going to get slightly different ones, but there will be ones in common. Give me a thumbs up if what I just did makes sense so far. Try to move it up so we can see better. Okay, so I took the prime factors from the number th 24 and they're listed here. And I took the prime factors from the number 60 and they're listed here. We're trying to find the largest number that they have in common from their factors. I'm gonna circle these two twos because they both have them. I'm going to circle these two twos as well. 24 has a third two, but 60 does not. So that last two does not get circled in our commons. But these threes do. So the GCF of 24 and 60 is 2 to the second power times 3, which equals 12. 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. That's how we find GCF of two numbers. Wow. That's easy. That's the way I learned it. Yeah. Andrea, yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry. How did you learn it differently? We don't do all the multiplication and stuff like that. Anyone you did at the end? With the I can't remember. I remember this being so hard for me. Okay, we're going to do one more number. <clears throat> we're going to do 18 and 27. Again, I'm trying to find the greatest common factor, so I'm going to make birthday cakes. What do these two have in common? Three. How many threes? Two. two each. So that means the GCF is going to be three to the second power, which is equal to nine. nine. Okay, I think before we move on to the next, it sounds like we need a little bit of practice from this. So. You're going to go back to your binder paper, and this time, 
on your binder paper, same page. <clears throat> You're going to do numbers 10 through 12. And we will come back together in about six minutes to compare those answers.